Alright. So this is my spirit deck. Alright, so I got three dark deaths just because it can clear the field. I like the combo where my opponent tries to go for OTK, so he swarms the field. He attacks, I battle fade. Then my turn, I get rid of his back row, you know, with the usual bait throw MST. And then summon dark dust and wipe out his his field. And attack, you know, attack, deal some damage. Um, obviously, I could play double summon so that way I can get an extra summon. So I can summon Nikitama, summon an extra monster, or just summon an extra monster. So that way I can deal more damage in, in a single turn. And of course, I got the three battle faders and the ghost trick lantern um, for defense because you know my monsters go back to my hand plus there's a tribute fodder and xyz fodder for slacker magician and then you know obviously i i defend myself with these then i make slacker which defends me more and if slacker gets defeated that's okay because then i just use monster reincarnation and just get the faders back and the lanterns back you know that type of stuff and just use them over and over again. It's a way of recycling them over and over again by using Slacker Magician. I got a Basetsu. Obviously, it just lets me get rid of anything that's uh, problematic. You know, Ophion. Um, just because Ophion's strong. <laughs> you know, right? Just get rid of Ophion whenever I feel like it. Or get rid of an XY, a uh, Synchro, a Ritual Monster, whatever. It's just a good way of getting rid of stuff. It was good against um, the artifact deck. Uh, I was able to test this deck out against an artifact deck. And it did pretty well, mainly because I was able to control what he can and can't have on the field. Yaksha helps as well, because since I'm not destroying his back, I'm just bouncing him back to his hand. You know, I can reduce the chances of him being able to uh, get artifacts onto the field to activate their effects and all that good stuff. Monster Reincarnation, originally I was trying to get a lot of dark spirit monsters into this deck, but it didn't have the synergy that I wanted, so I had to replace it with Monster Reincarnation. Hopefully, down the line, they'll add some more uh, spirit monster support, and hopefully they'll give us a uh, more return life for spirit monsters, right? That way I can just grab the spirit monsters back from the grave and reuse them. Double summon, of course, because of the different types of plays. I remember one time I, uh, since my opponent was playing defensive, um, it, when I was playing against the artifact deck, he's playing defensive, so it's like, you know, Christia, so it's like, all right, I can't drop Battle Fader because he has Christia, so it's like, all right, double summon, summon Battle Fader, tribute, Dark Dust. So that was, so that was very useful. Big Dome, MST. Very good, very good, red screen. My staple, my staples, of course. Deck devastation is good in the mirror match when you're going up against uh, like the spirit deck, a uh, spirit deck. Since you know the monsters go back to the hand, you pretty much know what what they do or don't have in their hands. So then you can just do this. Um, most spirit decks do use like battle fader, for example, if they run like a dark dust or any of the tribute um, spirits. So they do run battle fader and stuff. They might even run Veilers or something, so you might want to get rid of it. Mainly, this is good pretty much against a lot of decks. Obviously, it has a lot of weaker monsters. It's really good against artifact decks when they do manage to get the monsters onto the field. Then, before they get a chance to XYZ, some of you just like bang, deck Debbie, get rid of a lot of the weaker ones to reduce their chance, you know, the chances of them doing anything. Plus, if you go first turn and make a monster that you can use deck Debbie on. Uh, they draw deck Devi pretty much you'll reduce their hand size by half so you get rid of a lot of those uh, artifacts they'll go straight to the grave before he gets a chance to set one for one just because it helps me get uh, battle fader out or, or lantern out faster so I can uh, you know overlay make slack magician and start getting the basically the the recycle effect up and running plus if I'm in a scenario where you know I need something to tribute for Dark Dust Spirit because I have a lot of Dark Dust Spirits in my hand. I could pitch one for one for one, bring out, you know, Battle Fader, for example, tribute, summon Dark Dust, clear the field, 
activate Monster Reincarnation, add Battle Fader back to my hand, so that way, once Dark Dust comes back to my hand, if my opponent, you know, tries to make a comeback, Battle Fader, my turn draw, Dark Dust, you know, you get the idea. Crazy Box is only really in there for Deck Devi. Um, generic, with over, uh, Dark with over 3,000, with over 2,000 attack, so that's the only reason he's there. But sometimes a good defense is a strong offense, right? So, just some at 3,000 ending a turn sometimes is more than enough. Got this new little toy right here. Dark Lime Warrior. He's a 2450. Dark Rock. During either player's turn, when an A card or effect is activated that targets exactly one card on the field and no other cards, you can detach one x y for this card and then target another card that would be appropriate for that target um, and effect. And now that's the new target. So basically, my opponent tries to MST like my red screen or something, or just tries to MST my back row. I can just detach and MST his back row instead. Among other things, like he tries to remove my monster from play, so I'm like, all right, detach. Now I make it where you remove your own monster from play. Bye bye, BLS, right? <laughs> and again, he's dark, so he's deck Debbie um, fodder, if you want to say fodder. Maya Stroke, the Gen, of course, mainly for the defensive and the Book Moon aspects sometimes. Um, can't run over something or get rid of it. You might need to put it face down in order to get rid of it. Since some monsters can't be destroyed while face up, right? So you put them face down so you can destroy them. You get the idea. Gaga, Cowboy, because you can kind of perform uh, almost an OTK in this deck. And Gaga Kawa comes in handy for, you know, main phase 2 overlay, bang, activate his burn effect. So that's why he's in there. Diamond Dire Wolf, sometimes you just need to get rid of something. Gemini Pro, obviously he's immune to Fiendish Chain, and he's a 2600, which helps get over a lot of monsters. Corn, Deck Devi target, as well as he helps me get rid of any problematic cards. And deal damage. Plus, he's good in the obviously he's good in the main phase two scenario where, you know, I summon go um, uh, I like double summon two um, spirit monsters attack deal some damage, right? And then for some reason my opponent like summons a monster during the you know during battle or something. It's like all right, main phase two overlay corn get rid of it. You know you get the idea. You know how to use it. Roach you know for anything that's inherent special summons. This will be good against. So obviously that's why I sat there. Exiton Knight, just because he's really good. I actually really don't ever summon it. Like I don't. I'm never in a position where I feel like I need it. You know what I mean? It's there just in case, because it's a good monster. So I know y'all will play it. So that's why it's in there. I really don't really summon it like that. I do summon, however, <laughs> number one on one. This broken motherfucker. I definitely summon him. So that's what I summon the most. So I always have to choose between like, hmm, summon him or summon 101 and 101 always wins. Because the threats are not that big, good deal. Mainly because I always have like Beta MST, right? So I can always take care of the back rows. So I don't need to clear the field that much. Sometimes I could, my opponent just has one monster and I could take it. Knight, purple alternative, just because it's a beat stick. It's, you know, I could use three of my spare monsters, overlay them. Make this bad boy just because he's a beat stick. Um, Evil Swarm or Boros just comes in handy because of the fact that you know I can I can make my opponent one card or I can just get rid of something on the field. Um, plus he's 2750s and he's generic. You never know when you might need to make him. Three slack from magicians. Again, so that I can recycle the battle faders, lanterns, and just you know recycle, recycle. And that's my little baby girl. Yeah, she spams. <laughs> and there's the my spirit turbo slash OTK deck. 